My name is Hisham Shaheen. I'm the CEO of NIP. I've been here for about six years. In addition to being the CEO of NIP, I've uh, been the co-CEO of NIP Group for about a year now. NIP Group uh, owns uh, Ninjas and Pajamas and several other companies which operate in the esports space. We started off uh, in 2016 with five players, a manager, a social media guy and a coach, and that was about it. And uh, in 2023, we've grown to uh, six offices around the world with 400 people. So the journey has been uh, quite remarkable. And uh, entering this year, we have established ourselves as uh, the largest esports team in the world. So NIP has been focused on uh, core esports, which is PC and console. But as NIP Group, we have recognized the opportunities that exist in the mobile gaming space. So part of NIP Group, we have a sub-brand, which is called uh, eStar. eStar is uh, essentially what Ninjas and Pajamas is to uh, the grand esports world, in the sense that NIP is this iconic, legendary esports brand. eStar has the same position uh, in the mobile gaming world. It's, it's primarily Asia-focused and MENA region-focused in terms of followership and brand base. And that is the cultural difference that mobile gaming is a much bigger thing in different regions. In Europe, we are quite far behind when it comes mobile gaming. It's still rapidly growing. And from a NIP group perspective, we have the conviction that mobile gaming as a category uh, is going to be a thing of the future. Now that's why we're in it early. The community is, is, is growing. NIP, NIP grew out of a very small Swedish Counter-Strike community that through expanding into other games became a global community. It's like you had this growth pie chart where a community grew here and here, and now they're growing into each other in terms of a gaming phenomenon. Uh, we are, in a sense, on, on, on the top of that shiny esports gaming pillar, but we also must not forget where it came from, and it came from community, and the grassroots of community is expanding rapidly. So many more people are being introduced to games, either it's on PC, it is on console, it's on mobile. Um, it doesn't matter age, I encounter more and more older people playing video games which were not playing video games, right? They were used to reading books and playing board games. It is hard to sit and look down in a glass bowl and say what what the industry looks like in 2030. If you look at 2016, we cannot imagine half the stuff that has happened. Partnerships and sponsorships become important from an infrastructure perspective. One example is what we're doing on Samsung as a technology smartphone uh, uh, peripherals provider, where essentially it becomes the backbone that you build your infrastructure in. And in some sort of sense also, it's the credibility aspect as esports goes mainstream. It is very cool to have NIP related to a brand like Samsung and other large brands. And if you're associated with large, good brands, your brand will ultimately grow. So that becomes more important when we now look at how we do brand partnerships. Esports was kind of some sort of pro bono case, heavily reliant on sponsorships. There was sort of these semi-celebrities, influencers in the space. Uh, which uh, brand wanted to use to reach a Gen Z audience. The semi-influencers has now grown into esports athletes, superstars, large streamer brands. The partnership side becomes important in a different way. It's no longer about making payroll or getting the best talent because you need the sponsorship money to fund your business. You move them over to more of an operational aspect and also a brand aspect. One thing is that in the Nordics, uh, we were very advanced. We had fiber early, so gaming was a thing very early. But different parts of the world is catching up. The Middle East is catching up. LATAM is catching up. Uh, Asian markets are catching up. Uh, so gaming in, in those parts of the world, the growth has just started. And that growth will continue. And also accessibility to gaming and the trend of gaming being cool, either it's mobile devices, it's casual gaming, it's hardcore PC console, uh, the entertainment aspect in terms of live streaming, uh, esports competitions, and so on. Um, it's like it's materializing in a snowball effect. And that snowball effect uh, isn't slowing down. If we are at one today, I would not be surprised if we are uh, 10 times the size in terms uh, of a space and industry 10 years from now. Mm -hmm.